Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Grave Matters. I'm one half of the host. The other one, Philia Noctis, could not be here tonight. Send your love, prayers, and thoughts to her and her family. She just lost her grandmother. Hello and um, I don't know what I'm thinking. But tonight joining me as a guest host is Chrono Pasta. Hello, Chrono. Hello, CCG. Thank you for having me back for another round of going. You're welcome. And joining us tonight is the amazingly talented Mr. Haunted. Hello, Mr. Haunted. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. You're welcome and thank you. So, wow. Also, don't forget um, tonight at 7 p.m. PST here on the Nevermore Collective. We have another show and we will be interviewing Goodnight Goosebumps at that time. So let's see who's in the chat real quick and we'll go ahead and start with the questions. Uh, let's see. Hello, Christine. Glad you can make it. Derringer, always glad to see you. Glad to see you, Derringer. Hi, patients. Who else do we have? Anyways, can you guys hear me? Okay. 
So, Krona, would you like to start the questions, or would you like me? I go ahead and start. I kind of have one boiling up. I just don't want to forget it. So, okay. <laughs> Mr. Haunted, 21 and a half thousand subscribers is nothing to just short of amazing. I mean, I know you see people with millions and hundreds of thousands. Um, I guess with that amount of followers and subscribers, do you think that you're going to end up pushing your content in another direction? Or are you going to keep with narrating and everything else? Or do you have bigger goals for your channel as you grow larger and larger? So as of right now, there are no plans to actually change or change up my content from narrating to another to other content uh as for right now i'm currently going to stick with narrating uh, i don't know how long that'll last but i'm hopefully maybe a little over five years um that's my plan um depending on all the channel goes uh my goal here is to hit 100,000 subscribers within the next three years um but other than that to answer the question i do not plan on changing uh, any of the content Awesome. Awesome. So for um, Mr. Hunter, for those yes. um, that may be joining the chat that are not familiar with you or your channel, uh, could you give us a brief dis uh, description of you and your channel and what got you started on becoming a narrator? So naturally, I've just been into scary stuff uh, throughout my life, into scary movies and stuff. Um, ever since I was 14, I started having like a really deep voice than all of my other friends at my school. Uh, and everyone took notice of it, like, hey, you have a deep voice, you should do voice acting or something like that. Um, you know, I blew it off, shrugged it off for uh, a couple years. And then I discovered uh, Mr. Nightmare, and I've just been constantly binge watching him when I was like 16, 17, all those years, all those teen years of my teenage years. Um, I just started binge watching him, Corpse Husband, and like, you know what? Maybe I should try narrating. So I gave it a try, uh, and it was not good at all. It was terrible. My views were getting like 20 at the max. And my voice was like, uh, it was like, it was low quality. Nobody was watching. So I decided to quit and then start a new channel where I did magic because I was a magician then too. And then after a year doing that, I decided. Hang on. Sorry about that. And then after a year, I decided to um, continue narrations. So what I did was I grabbed, I got a new mic and I was focused and I was committed to doing this. So ever since then, I've been practicing, 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 and here I am. We're so glad to have you. Of course. Just look at Anytime. the amazing job that you and your channel have done. Exactly. And my, I mean, how do you say it? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> <laughs> um, Idol, I guess you could say, uh, was Corpse Husband. He actually commented. This was before he he got big, but he commented saying, you have a great voice for this. Don't give up. You'll do well. So he inspired me to uh, keep going. That's awesome. And we're so glad he did. And that is awesome. Because the Please. horror community would have been missing one hell of a narrator. Thank you so much. <laughs> for sure. <You're> welcome. <laughs> Uh, just before the show, um, we were talking about your thumbnails, um, how yes. awesome they are. They're amazing. So how do you create your thumbnails? All right. So this actually might come as a surprise to some of you, but the way I actually create my thumbnails is on my phone. Uh, it's not done on Photoshop. It's not done on a computer. It's actually through my phone on an app called Fonto. Basically, what I'll do is I'll grab an image, uh, royalty to free, obviously, because I don't want to get fined or anything. Wow. And exactly. Or copyrighted. And so I would import it into the app on my phone. And what I would do is I would filter it to make it look like a eerie type of vibe to it. I would add text and the color to the text to make it look, you know, to make it look, you know, better. And I'll add the text like, you know, oh, three scary Home Alone stories or 
scary dark web stories or anything like that, depending on what the theme is. Uh, so once I'm done with that, if I feel like, you know, I could add something extra to make it pop or stand out, I would go over to another app I called, is called Photogrid, where I would basically mm -hmm. crop out, I would hand, I would like, by hand, I would crop out the blood, the blood splatters and the, uh, and the square and the slashes to make it, you know, stand out more. So all in all, it usually takes about, for normal thumbnails, it could take about 30 minutes to an hour to create. Because it's, it's not easy, I, I will tell you that. But it's a really good experience and it's really fun to do. Um, I know a lot of people say that thumbnails aren't really, don't really matter. Um, in my opinion, they kind of do because they, they're the ones that make the videos stand out, in my opinion. Oh, I that completely is... agree. Exactly. For sure. That is so true. Um, I've heard a lot of narrators say that um, if you're going to present a video, um, you know, the thumbnail is what makes it what it is. And yours are fantastic. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You have another question, Chrono? I do. Yes. So, uh, you already kind of hit the topic of idols with Corpse Husband and everything else. Is there kind of a a type of story they've inspired you to narrate more often? Like, is it more true stories? Do you stick with fiction more? Do you... Is there a type of story you kind of cling to more that you love to narrate more than another? Uh, are you talking about the theme of the story, like, or, or just like, you know, true stories or fictional stories? I guess theme would also play in there as well, like campfire stories or right. haunted house stories, zombies, what what have so, you. But So one of my favorite topics that I'm mostly known for is uh, the dark, we uh, deep web stories. Um, unfortunately, I did end the series for that. I just felt like, you know, it was, it's not really getting much hype. So I wanted to actually put an end to the dark web content on YouTube, like for good. Um, so I created the best, scariest, most disturbing <laughs> dark web stories video. So like maybe it may look like market as a final end. Um, but other than that, um, I stick to mostly true scary stories. At least that's what the authors claim. I mostly get them from Reddit or my subscribers via email. Okay. So when it comes to narrating, what would you say is your best and um, worst um, qualities when it comes to narrating? Like, do you have your good moments where, oh, this came out right, and then there's other times where you're like, oh, darn it, Absolutely. this could have been better. 100%. I actually go through it every day, every time I record. Um, it's nothing wrong with the story, really. It's more so It's more so me. So whenever I narrate, I have to drink. I, I know it's a little off topic, off topic, but... Whenever I start to record, I have to make sure I drink coffee because if I don't drink coffee, I have a, something called a dry mouth where basically I would read the story and I would sound like this, like ASMR type stuff. And it's just, it's just really, it's a little, it's really weird. It sounds weird. So I have to make sure my voice is clear, crisp, and you will not, you have no idea how many times I had to redo the story or redo a line from the story because i said when i was about or a voice crack or something like that or i didn't read it right or i waited too long anything like that those little messes mess ups really get me so i mean a lot of people think when i record a story i just read right through it with no issue with no errors there is at least two, over 25 errors that i have to redo of every story my goodness yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think a lot of narrators go through that um also you know so <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> excuse me <clears throat> do you ever feel rushed trying to get a video out to where you're just like eh fuck it that'll do 
uh, <laughs> I will admit <laughs> this. Um, I, I not really, but I do. I guess this is the closest thing. Uh, there have been like there have been times where like if I'm doing, for instance, Home Alone stories, and I don't, I can't find like another good Home Alone story. What I'll, and I need, let's say I need four Home Alone stories, and I only have three, and I'm missing one. What I'd actually do is I'd go to a previous video where I also did Home Alone stories and take one of the stories out and put it. So it's kind of like a re-upload of that story and hoping my subscribers won't notice. Like, because like, I have, <laughs> I have, I have, I have You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like very, very rarely do I do that. Very rare. That's only if like it's an emergency or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten a couple comments saying like, "Hey, haven't you heard? Haven't you told this story before?" And then I'll always be like, "No." Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh! Nope, you That's guys didn't great. hear that. So. Nope, you never heard that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Those of you just tuning in, don't rewatch this. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty it's... much. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, that, oh like very God. rarely do I do that. So yeah, I've um, listened to quite a bit of um, your videos and everything, and I've always been impressed by them. You know, because I'm promoter and supporter of a lot of you, and it's like trying to bounce back and forth. And it's like, like one day it's like, oh, I just got caught up with Vita Twenty Two boom two videos out almost back to back and i'm like all right here we go <laughs> exactly it's like at one time i was caught up with yours and it's like no he did not he did not just do that <laughs> oh it was crazy <laughs> you guys put them out faster than i think most of us can get them <laughs> oh yeah look down it's like, hey, do you remember this story by Mr. Haunted? No, not yet. <laughs> I always, oh. like, kind of deny it. Like, I mean, there's been, like, you'll have, like, one or two people say, like, hey, I swear you've heard of, I swear you've never recorded, you've read the story before at some point. And I'm like, no, I, I, I definitely have, I haven't. <laughs> and then they'll try their best to go looking through every video, and I don't know if they're going to want to waste their time doing that, but. <laughs> I don't see why hey, what anybody. Will... What's that? Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just gonna say that was that's clever. I would never have thought of right. something like that. I know for like some compilations and stuff, I work with other yeah. people. It's like oh, this is something I've already recorded. I'll just send them that because I don't have time to get something new recorded at the moment. Exactly, and like, and then stories are becoming a lot harder to find to these days. Honestly, yeah. They really are, and it's just like, you know, everyone send your stories, you know, uh, like PA Nightmares. Um, he could sit down and write a story in three hours or less. I mean, it's like, great, you got a story, now send it to somebody. <laughs> exactly. You know? Oh, there's actually one question here in the chat. I don't know if we're allowed to answer those, but... Uh, yes. Christine Baker, actually, um, I get this a lot. How does your family feel about your narration channel? Good question, Christine. It's a good a great question. question. So, um, to say it straight, my family really doesn't care, to be honest. Um, my, I mean, they think it's cool. Like, oh, they're kind of like, oh, good for you. Um, but my mom is kind of like, oh, you know, you should do something a little more nicer that's not going to, like, you know, terrify people. And then my dad, you got my dad, he was, he was like, oh, that's awesome. You should totally keep doing that. You make money from it. And then I'm like, I mean, yeah, I guess so. But I just naturally just like doing it. But all in reality, my parents don't really care. Awesome. As long as it's not, as long as it's not something like really bad. I, I guess that's live fair. With them. I'm only 21. I still live with them, but I want to move out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. So, like, I've, you know, in the past, I know you've been a part of a lot of horror cons, I believe they are called. Um, I remember the first, I can't even remember when it was, um, you were at a horror con, 
and you were standing there and somebody was uh, you know taking a video of it and I was sitting there and I was watching and I'm like dang and I just could not believe how tall you are I'm like holy wait, crap wait a whole horror con? Uh, I guess that's what they're called um Oh, wasn't it you that used to go to them? Um, I don't. With, I don't um, recall going to Horicon. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I know you were at a venue one time. Oh, oh, you talking you about? Were, are you talking about uh, Supercon? Thank you. That's the one. That's it. Yeah, I, yeah. I go there uh, every summer. Um, yeah, I, I believe I live streamed there with someone with a few people <laughs> one, at one point and yeah you guys got the um comparison of how the comparison of how tall i was i'm about 6'10 so my Holy goodness crap. Pap. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? i don't know why i call it horicon i know they're two separate venues but my brain just went completely blank it's like duh <laughs> so um i know you speak highly of uh corpse husband but is there someone um, that you haven't collabed with that you've always wanted to collab with? Other uh, than myself. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, that would be probably Mr. Nightmare and Lazy Masquerade. Uh, I highly doubt anything like that's going to happen. You never know, but it would have to be Mr. Nightmare. He was like the very first person I've ever started watching. I mean, he's got a voice too on him. Oh yeah. But, I mean, it never hurts to ask. <laughs> I never. I don't know. I mean, just like con attempting to contact him, I don't even know how to contact him. Um, just like the idea of contacting him, I I don't even think he'll, he'll even look at it. <laughs> I see. Um. I've never even really noticed that he has ever really collapsed with anybody. He hasn't, actually. Not that I know of. Yeah, he seems um, pretty, you know, much to himself. Um, excuse the term for lack of better words, not saying anything bad. But it's like with that voice, you know, I could see him with several narrators, you know, collabing. And it's like, wow, because he's an amazing narrator as well. He is. Very, really, very, yes. If any of you in the chat have any questions for Mr. Haunted, go yes, ahead and post please. them and we'll ask. Feel free. Yes. Oh, I think uh, PA actually has a question. Oh, well, it's not really a question, okay. but. A request. We're still gonna, <laughs> yeah, request. <laughs> We're going to still collapse in the future. Of course, dude. Of course. I just got to find the right side. I'm excited to see that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh. So, uh, oh, sorry, CCG, you have a question? No, go ahead. Okay, okay, well, off topic of horror, at least, I know a lot of us within, like, the horror community have a separate nerdy output. Like, mine is Magic the Gathering. Do you have... Uh -huh. uh, your own nerdy output like maybe you like tcgs or dungeons and dragons or comic books or is there another avenue of nerdiness you might have um oh like outside of horror um yeah i guess anime um or, or video or video games I, I would say i'm not too okay. much of an anime fan but i do watch a few shows here and there uh okay. same thing with games to be honest um you know, I'll pl I play Minecraft sometimes, actually. Um, what else? I want to play um, Phasmophobia. Um, I know a lot of that's like a, there's like a lot of hype around that game. So when it kind of gets started, that's a real supposed to be a really scary game. So, <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna be into that. A couple of friends of mine um, have streamed um, that game and seems like a lot of fun i think you would enjoy it yeah no I, I probably would it does seem interesting um 
I just recently actually quit Among Us. I mean, that, I mean, I don't know. I just kind of got bored of the game. But I met yeah. some really cool people while playing the game. I even got a chance to play with a really, a really big YouTuber. I don't, I'm wondering if you guys could guess who it is, but he's not uh, horror. Hmm. He's not horror related. Is PewDiePie? No, he's not. He's not not that big. Um, Markiplier? <laughs> no. Uh, is he a gaming YouTuber? Yeah, he is. But he's fe he's featured in a video. He's featured in. A lot of videos with a big YouTuber. Okay. Like there's a big, there's one big YouTuber, and he's part of the crew, I guess you could say. Uh, Josh Dubs. Nope. That's <laughs> <laughs> your narrator. Uh. Oh man. All right, I'll, I'll give you a hint in the chat. How about this? Also, um, we do have okay. two questions from the audience, When? Oh, of course, of course. Um, what were okay. they? So, Anime asks, is Mr. Haunted a soda drinker? Um, yes, I, I am a major <laughs> soda drinker. I actually have a fr <laughs> my, mini, my monster mini fridge full of sodas as of right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite type of soda? That's a hard one. Um, probably root beer. Root beer would have to be my favorite soda. Nice. Mm, root beer floats. And then uh, we have a, a question. Oh, sorry, Mr. Haunted. Go ahead. No, I'm not saying a anime got it. <laughs> oh, anime no, did she? Carl Jacobs, yeah. Oh, never even heard of him. And then Darren, uh, your ask... Um, what is your favorite uh, anime? Favorite anime. Um, so, like I said, I haven't really seen any, um, you know, too much anime. But my favorite anime would have to be Attack on Titans, to be honest. I don't watch a lot of anime, so... For those I can't that say do. I have either. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of anime. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Mr. Nightmare. Oh, you have a question, CCG? No, go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. So, I know you said you weren't going to stray away from horror narrations or anything else of that matter, but is there something you've like a pet project you've been desperately wanting to work on? Uh, I'm sorry, say that again? Do you have a pet project or something that you're not sure would, you know, be well-liked in the community or, or well-received, I best guess would be a better way to put it. Do you have kind of a project that you yourself want to work on or create? Like a project I want to work on outside of well, it could be within your narrations or anything else, but is it is it something that you haven't been able to get to because of something holding you back, or perhaps it just doesn't quite flow with the channel? Like, is there a giant story collaboration you really, really want to work on, or writing uh, a story, or something that could fall in line but just can't seem to grasp or able to get to it? Um... So, I actually don't know. I mean, as of right now, I can't really think of anything I want to, like, you know, put out on the channel. Um, well, no, actually, that's not true. All right. So, on my live streams, I, like, yesterday, uh, I'm sure some of you have seen it, but I did a sour candy challenge with one of my good friends, and I showed my face. I revealed my face. Um and the reason why I only do it as a live stream is because I fear that, you know, as much as I want to make it into a video, it's not recommended that, like, I make it into a video and then people automatically think that, oh, you know, he's changing his content, so I'm going to unsubscribe or anything like that. So that's why I kind of, I mean, I would like a, to make some videos like that other than horror. Okay. So, but yeah, I mean, that's why I kind of only do the challenges as like a live stream 
So, I mean, that's the closest thing, I guess. Okay. I mean, that also works. I mean, it's, it's, it's something a little off from that, but still you're doing it on your channel and everything else. So exactly. That's I awesome, don't though. think you have, it is very awesome. And I don't think you have to worry about losing anybody. And also, um, my misunderstanding anime had asked if you chose Coke over Pepsi. And then I have another question from Christian for you. Of course. Um, so the Coke or Pepsi, um, I would have to choose Coke, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> I don't really drink Pepsi that much. I mean, I've tried the new Pepsi Blue that they just came out with, that it was discontinued for like 20 years. But, you know, mainly I choose Coke. Coke, mine's Pepsi. <laughs> so Christian <laughs> I'm, asked... I'm a Coke person. Nope, I've got to have Pepsi. So Christian asks, um, what is the mo Hold on. What is the worst creepy pasta you've uh, you've ever narrated or read? The worst creepy pasta I've ever narrated or read. Uh, so mm -hmm. I never really narrated any creepy pastas, but I have read a lot. Uh, let me see. And the worst creepy pasta I've probably ever read was Return to Sender. Uh, which is, like, literally about, like, I forgot what it was, but it was about, like, a neighbor who ordered a package, and inside the package was the remains of of, a, of the neighbor's son, or it was something like that. I don't know. It just didn't make sense to me. So that would be probably the worst <laughs> creepypasta I've ever read. Hmm. Sounds like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, as a narrator um, who's been around a while, pretty much an OG, um, is there one or two good pieces of advice that you would um, give to a new and upcoming narrator to help them on their journey? So the best piece of advice I could give someone if they're just starting out is be original. In my, in my opinion, be original. That's number one. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, you know, don't try to be someone else. Don't try to, like, you know, make your voice deep like corpse. And, like, you know, don't do that. Try trying to, like, or pretending to be someone you're not. Um, the other one is, you know, upload consistently. Because that's really key. A lot of people think that, like, you know being successful on youtube is based on luck and you know some of it is but most of it is actually not because i used to say think the same thing uh what you really have to do is be consistent with your content and upload really good quality videos um and i recommend uploading twice a week i know i upload every once a week but that's just only because i'm in i'm in college and i'm swamped with like work and school work and everything um but yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much the best advice I could give you. I mean, there are other tips like collaborations and stuff. But, you know, other than that, just be original and be consistent and keep it up. Great advice. Great advice. So as a narrator in the years that you've been a narrator, um, has there been like one or more... Um, I guess you would say rude comments that just shocked you to where you're like, what? <laughs> rude com like ver ver like really rude comments? Yes, like yeah, rude. I guess would be the um, word. Yeah, there 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 have there have been like a lot of there's been like some people on my channel who have like commented stuff, um, but I don't really let them get to me. I just kind of like. If it's, like, really insulting, then I'll just, like, delete it. There have been times when I was, like, in a really pissed off mood that I'll reply and I'll say something, like, to get them back. Like, but that was, like, when I was just starting out. But most of the time, I just don't really let them get to me. I generally don't care what people say. So I just, you know, delete them because I don't really need it. <laughs> right. But, yeah. I don't know why people do that, you know, honestly. I, 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 don't, I don't know either. 
people are just hecklers. Yeah. You know, the, <laughs> the true that, because, you know, um, they're just listening to the video. Um, a lot of people don't understand, you know, what it takes to create that one video. You know, the time, the effort, and everything. They really don't. Do we have any other questions in chat? Uh, looks like anime has a question. Do you have a okay. TikTok? Do I have? Oh my god! <laughs> yes, I do have a TikTok. Um, I don't really narrate scary stories on TikTok. It, it's it, it's not scary stories, but it's more like kind of like, oh, um, these are the three. These are some photos the government doesn't want you to see, and I'll show the photo on screen explaining why and, and what they are. Um, photos taken right before disaster. You know what would happen if aliens came this is how this is why the government's hiding a cure for cancer you know all that all this conspiracy theory stuff is basically what it is and i can't tell you how many times i get comments saying cap <laughs> everyone's like oh this is cap this is cap that's cap this is cap and the other half thinks it's interesting but <laughs> yeah, yeah i do have a tiktok that's doing pretty well um, if you would like us to share it in stream, we can um, to share it in the Grave Matters chat on Discord, and we'll go ahead and share it. Absolutely. Please and thank um, you. Yes. Um, that's my username. Um, it's Andres, Bomas, Andres underscore Bomasena. I really don't know how to put a link to it. Oh, right here. Share profile. I'll put in the link here. Let's see. And there it is. So yeah, I do have a TikTok and that's it if you guys do want to check that out. Okay, thank you. Of course. Chrono, do you have... I'm sorry. What was that, CCG? Okay, so... Um... <laughs> I'm going to ask this question. I, I'm just curious. Um, so, <laughs> if you could be any fictional horror movie killer, who would it be and why? And who would your first victim be? Uh, <laughs> any, like, any horror, like, killer? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go with uh, Michael Myers. Um, mainly because, like, he's like kind of silent he doesn't really he doesn't like talk to anyone he doesn't give out a warning that he's gonna kill somebody he just does it like without warning um and my first victim i don't know it would probably be someone i really genuinely hate um <laughs> pretty much i, I guess <laughs> that's pretty fair <laughs> <laughs> Here, just hold as, still real quick. <laughs> as, of right, as of right now, I, I don't really hate anyone, but <laughs> I don't know. I know life gets hard, so you'll probably end up hating someone. That's pretty fair. Patience posted a question in chat. What motivates you or gets you in the right mindset if you may not be filling up to making a video? Good question. That's a good question. Um, what motivates me to get in the right mind? So, naturally, sometimes I, I will admit I am kind of lazy at times, but not all the time. Um, I know, like, I have to put a video up every week, and I genuinely like like what I do. So, if I'm ever, like, not in the right mindset, or I'm just, like, think doing something else, um, what I'll do is, like, actually watch other narrators, and then I'll, like, gain that inspiration back up, and then I'll continue. So that really, um, you know, sparks more motivation. Good answer. That's awesome. Good yep. answer. It really is. Um, Looks like Patience has a follow up to that. She asked, "Do you have a ritual?" Yeah, follow up with that. She said, "Might be related to the first question too." But do you have a ritual you do before starting any narrations? 
e.g. drink something, vocal exercises, etc. So what I do is like uh, to make sure, like I said before earlier, like, you know, to make sure I don't have the that dry mouth, that ASMR crap. <laughs> so what <laughs> I would do is for drinks, I would drink coffee, like two mugs, and I would wait an hour and then my voice would become like more clear and crisp and, you know, I'll narrate, you know, nicely without having mess ups. So really, I, as far as vocal exercises go, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't say I would have any. Um, mainly because I really don't know how to do any to warm up my voice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's coffee. It's a natural. Just, Just a natural. natural. Exactly. Natural. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so other than like getting something to drink or anything, um, do you have a favorite go-to snack? Favorite go-to snack? Oof. I do, but I, uh, oh my God. Um, so if I'm like <laughs> really, so if I'm like really hungry and like I'm recording, you know, let, like, let's say for instance, it's really late at night and it's like at three in the three, four in the morning and I'm super tired. I'll have like a monster from I have actually I have like an actual monster mini fridge so I'll grab a monster and what I'll do for a, a snack is I'll order McDonald's and I'll get like a McChicken or a few cookies and you know that's really my favorite snack to be honest because like this guy knows how to live yeah yeah like yes, e- he does while, e- let me tell you eating eating while making a video is a vibe like it's awesome. <laughs> But it's, I gotta stop doing it because I'm getting some weight here. <laughs> you can hear Mr. Haunted puts out a video. So one day in the summer, chomp chomp. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that'll be embarrassing. <laughs> I get to see that as one of your bloopers. Uh, PA has a question. Uh, do you prefer? Wait a minute. Do you prefer? the true stories to the fictional um true stories to the fictional like in other words like i would rather narrate true stories rather than fictional yes Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah i definitely rather narrate true stories than fictional uh mainly because like i don't know i feel like there's already a genre or you know a place for fictional stories which is creepypastas i guess um, mm-hmm. so I stick more of the true side just cause I like to, you know, I feel like it's a good and, you know, a really cool experience to like narrate as to what somebody went through and for people to realize like these things actually happened at some point. Um, I know it could cause like, you know, it could be, some of them could be upsetting, mm-hmm. but you know, so yeah, I'm much more, I prefer uh, true scary stories rather than fictional. There was, what was it, a couple of days ago, oh my god, I wish I could remember who it was, uh, somebody narrated a true story, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, no, you know, and you could just, listening to the story, it just kept me on the edge, because it's like, this, this you know, it's just unbelievable what some people have gone through, you know, it just, exactly, and, you know, it's just scary, it really is. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it just gives you honestly I feel like you know narrating true scary stories gives you an idea as to what the world actually is and how dangerous and cruel it is and that these experiences actually happen to people exactly just some of them you're just sitting there and not only that you know like channels like uh, Lost Case uh, Crime News Dark and Grim other channels like that, Mandy Mortem, um, you know, it also gives the narrator a chance to be a voice to the victims that otherwise don't have one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Um, Derringer asked, um, you used, what? You said you were in collabs College. 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 College, excuse me. All right, go ahead. Uh, what you 
what are you studying and do you regret it at all uh so yeah i'm currently in college um i am studying uh communications and journalism uh i was originally studying graphic design and i decided to quit that major because it had a uh, math and i suck at math I, I i hate it so i decided to take a major that didn't involve advanced math mathematics for me um and now i'm just honestly like i'm almost done with this major so i'm going to graduate um with my associate's degree uh but i want to move mm -hmm. on to an actual university i want to switch my major to uh film and video and movies and stuff like that and i feel like that'll be a like i feel like that'll be a good major for me awesome oh, yeah. congratulations hell yeah. yes so i kind of want to work with i want to work on movies and you know setups and and actors and stuff like that i guess sounds good to me Heck my yeah. type of guy <laughs> <laughs> i hear us a, a conversation coming on afterwards i have a um, feeling me and you need to talk good sir <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. like i said so, oh yeah so anime had a question and since you're talking about wanting to work with celebrities <laughs> and stuff like that have you ever been starstruck either on youtube or in real life have i ever been starstruck what does that mean um fanboy fanboy yeah <laughs> jinx you owe me a what? coke fanboy <laughs> have you ever just been an over-the-top fan of somebody you've been able to meet in real life and just didn't know what to say palms sweaty oh, you know knees uh... weak arms heavy Honestly, not really. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of famous people, but like, I'm not like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, I'm not like those, I'm not like 90% of the people who are kind of like, you know, oh my gosh, it's um, Justin Bieber. I, I can't talk right now or whatever. And they're so excited. Honestly, really, I just kind of see them as a person because, you know, we're all people, you know. Right. Just because they have, you know, all this fame and all this money. I just like, I'm just kind of like, oh, cool. Hey, what's up, man? You know, kind of like that. Just but another Joe know, with a I've cool actually, job. Yeah, you're doing a good <laughs> job. That, that's what I basically do. Um, but yeah, I don't really go crazy over it. I mean, so yeah, to answer your question, no, I have not fanboyed over anyone. <laughs> yet. Good the answer. still young. Yet. Yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, your ex, if I can read this in chat. Uh, Chrono, can you read it, please? It's in Grave uh, Matters. Let me see. And then I have something to ask you, Mr. Haunted. Zan asked, what's your best friend like? Oh, my best friend. Uh, so I got a lot of friends, but I do have one. Um, and he's really, he's really cool. Um, and he's respectful, caring, or no, I should say, they're respectful. They are respectful and caring. Um, they're really fun to hang out with. They're a great person to talk to. And I do not, honestly do not know what I would do without them. And that person exa is, ex is Zan. <laughs> it's always amazing to have that friend, of you know, that kind of friend. Yeah, like so someone who I could trust, you know. Right, and that's so hard nowadays, you know, because, you know, people are usually all about themselves or, you know, what they can do to get back at somebody because somebody did or said something to piss them off. You know, that's... It always feels good to have somebody in your corner, too. Right. You know, somebody to rely right. on and everything else. Exactly. So, Mr. Haunted, you, we're talking about going into film and everything in college, your major. Um, so you got your degree and everything. Um, what would be, if you wanted to create a movie, what would your first movie be? If I were creating a movie? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I mean, I, it's not really like my choice to like, you know, direct what movie it would be. It, I'm, I, mm -hmm. In other words, like what I would want to do in like film is be like an either an executive director or you know mm -hmm. uh, location manager 
and basically what they do um a location manager is like they would actually go to um businesses different businesses and ask permission if hey can our crew film our crew film here film the movie here let's let's say we're directing a huge movie and i'm the one who goes to i don't know somewhere in the city i'll be like hey can we use the shop as a as a shooting range or something like that you know we're gonna obviously acting but like you know hey we're gonna use their shop uh two guys are gonna be shooting guns here for our movie that's basically what i do and it's a really good salary that sounds like fun yeah <laughs> awesome we definitely have something to talk about over after this show <laughs> awesome, dude. just hit me up on twitter <laughs> will do <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> will do <laughs> okay you just sounded like jensen oh my gosh <laughs> really i thought that sounded more like uh oh uh, what was his name chills yeah chills yeah number it's a, it's seven a, it's like, yeah it's like a parody um he does honestly like <clears throat> i do kind of like a mix of jensen and chills when he does the parody because he'll be like you know chills would be something like Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and Jensen, Jensen will be like, number 14, my mommy said don't go outside. I didn't know why, but it's scary. You know, he'll do something like that. And sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes they're not. Dude, but, that yeah. was spot on, man. That uh, was yes, great. It was. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my question is, do you, like, practice those? Like, sit in the oh, mirror, God. like, all right, Jensen, <laughs> now chills. <laughs> yeah, kind of, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, I could do Jensen's, like, really, really well. Like, some people actually thought, like, one person on stream, I did it exactly like Jensen, and they thought Jensen was actually on stream with me, like, sitting next to me or something, and I'm like, no, he's not here. <laughs> we, we should get great. the three of you in a collab just not tell anybody who's saying what and see yes. if <laughs> oh my god because i know like jensen he did a video you know entirely um in chill's voice have you thought about doing the same um just for fun i did but i i don't know like it's fun to do the chills parody, but I, at the same time, I don't want to like, you know, impersonate him or cop seem like I'm copying him or something. You know, I don't think, I don't feel like it's being original. Uh, so for instance, maybe I would do the corpse husband voice, but you know, the same thing, like when I was nine, something happened to me that I won't regret and it's fucking scary. You know, <laughs> oh, shit. you know, like what I if could, you, Sorry, what if you're able to impersonate Chills or or uh, or Corpse Husband trying to be Chills? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if I can. That do sounds it. Let pretty me original. See. Let me let me see. Um, <laughs> number fifteen. My mom said that I couldn't go outside because there was a monster. No matter what, <laughs> I, I, I don't. That was pretty really good. 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 Yes, it was. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I do a lot of like impersonate. I do a lot of impersonations, like a lot, a lot of voices. I got to do this. Welcome, Corpse Husband and Jensen. <laughs> I appreciate you guys having us on. It's really a pleasure. Really a pleasure. <laughs> this is great. So oh, my question for you, Mr. Haunted, um, you're on death row. You committed murder, so you're on death row, and you're going to die. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a question. <laughs> this yeah, is it happening. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so you committed murder, you're on death row, and you're about to be electrocuted. What would your last meal be? My last meal? Oh, shoot. Um... That's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> I like a lot of food. I, I like a lot of food, but it would probably have to be. Oh, all right. Um, oh, 
what is what is that Italian uh chicken parmesan? There we go. Oh really yes. Love. Chicken parmesan. Yeah. With garlic, with garlic bread and a, and a Coke. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Heck yes. Mine would be cold chicken strips dipped in buffalo sauce Ooh, and a Pepsi. It, I, I'm still sticking with my one red Skittle. Oh my gosh, Chrono. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to start calling you red. You might as well. One red Skittle. Let's get this over with. I'll pop it in my mouth on the way to the chair. <laughs> I hate the anticipation. One red Skittle. One red Skittle. Yeah, number nine. One red Skittle. <laughs> I popped it in my mouth and then it grew more Skittles in my stomach. <laughs> oh, <Jeez. can't> <laughs> Oh, oh man, God. that was great. <laughs> I don't know. I, sometimes I can do it a lot better. Like it'll be really accurate of chills, but mainly when it, when it, if it's at night, I don't know. It's like if I just got done recording, you know, my voice is kind of tired, and you know, I won't be able to do it right. But if I'm like really hyper, and I'll, I'll do it perfectly, it's scary. <laughs> oh my gosh! So since the floor is yours, Mister Haunted, um. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? I mean, feel free to. We're here to um, listen, and we'd like to know more about you. So, I don't know. Do you like, it's pretty boring. But, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Say it again? Do you like reading books? Uh, do I like reading books? Uh, no, I, I actually do not. Like, I do not like reading at all. <laughs> That's kind of ironic, <laughs> right? Especially when it's like one of those long chapter books, like uh, like I could barely read it. Oh, I love reading. Yeah, yeah I used to like reading too, but things have uh, changed. Oh, well, it's kind of like Chrono said, ironic being the narrator. Ironic. I guess you get plenty of reading done then, right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, by being a narrator. You're like, okay, I did enough reading, I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Like, I mean, narrating is fine, like reading out loud, but like reading to myself, like reading a boring chapter book, then, yo, yeah, I hate that. <laughs> oh, I, ugh, I feel you on that one, trust me. Now, there is a book, um, if you haven't ever read it, it's by an author named Mike Jeffries, and it's called Shadows in the Watchgate. I highly recommend that book to anybody. I guarantee you won't be able to put it down. It's really interesting. So Now he's going to get it, pick it up, and then put it down just on principle. <laughs> Thanks, Chrono. Gee, I'm just saying. You too. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Mr. Haunted, you passed away. Yeah. Um, who would you okay. want to read your eulogy? Who would I want to what? Who would you want to read your eulogy? My eulogy. Eulogy, yes. You know, the what person that, that stands up and says, you know, Mr. Haunted passed away today. He was a great guy, you know. Oh, um, I really don't know. Uh, probably one of my parents, maybe, or my friends. <laughs> I don't know, someone like that. Someone who I could trust. I've, oh, mine would either be Anthony Hopkins, um, Sam Elliott. If I had to choose a horror narrator, um... Hmm. Let me see. I'll get back to you on that one. I, let's see. What is patience? Asked. Yeah, I would have to say mine would have to be you, Mr. Nightmares, pretending to be a uh, corpse husband, pretending to be chills. You mean Mr. That voice yeah. right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. I don't know if I could do that one. <laughs> you read my eulogy pretending to be two separate people. I'm a fool playing a fool disguised as another fool. <laughs> 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 so... Patience asked, um, what, uh, 
what's your favorite scary movie? And then, then there's another question. But what's your favorite movie, scary movie? So my favorite scary movie is going to have to be The Conjuring. Um, I love that movie. Um, oh. Yeah, if I if I ever wanted like a you know not a jump scare or anything like that, where it would, to the point where like I'm going to be not sleeping. But you know, if I'm ever like home alone, and I just like kind of feel like watching a scary movie. I'll just put on that one because that's like a, that's a classic. I mean, I that love that movie. movie. That is a yeah, great yeah. Like horror movie. movies these days honestly suck. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say it right now they're not as good as they were it, ten years ago. But exactly, I agree. It's like ugh. I guess that's a generational <laughs> thing, though. I guess so, yeah. Because I, I look at horror movies even 10 years ago, and I'm like, they're nothing like the 80s. <laughs> like the classic no. monsters. It's it's So, I mean, I guess it might just be a generational thing. I don't know. Eh, kind of, I guess. I hey, love shows. movies that have to deal with practical effects. Practical effects? What's that? So, instead of CGI, you use a fake arm? Or something. Oh. There, yeah. Yes. My kind of movie. Oh, yeah. I can't stand all this CGI. Sorry, Mr. Haunted. Go ahead. No, no, it was fine. You were you were saying something. Uh Patience then asked, do you have a favorite non horror you YouTube channel? Oh, I have several. Um my top two actually should we do top two or top three? It don't matter. Um, if you want to say all three, that's fine. All right. Uh, so number one would have to be Mr. Beast. Um, I know it's like, you know, a little surprising, but yeah, honestly, uh, his videos like are big, like, you know, major challenges. You win a million dollars or something like that. And those like really put me in a good mood because they're really fun to watch. Um, when I'm like, you know, bored or something. Uh, the second one would have to actually be Darman, Darman Studios, if you guys know what that is. I can't say I've seen him. Yeah, so I don't either. What he does in his videos, um, it's kind of like a, a scenario where like, you know, oh, homeless man get, gets kicked out of a restaurant and you won't believe what happens next or something like that. And the ending is shocking. Um, kind of shocking basically kind of like life lessons about how you shouldn't do this and what you should do oh, oh always I think know, I've seen some of that yeah like hey Darman fan hope you love that message they're kind of like messages I guess like yeah, yeah he's a really cool guy uh, and my third one would have to be I actually I actually don't know I don't really think I, I mean, I'd have to like really think of it, think about it. But yeah, those are definitely my favorite, top favorite. I like um, shows like that, you know, they're rather interesting. <laughs> Let's see. So if, um, just something fun, um, Psycho or Night of the Living Dead? Which yeah. one is your favorite? Psycho or Night of the Living Dead? Uh, yes, the originals. Um, probably Psycho. I mean, I haven't really, I haven't seen any of them to be honest. Um, but probably Psycho. Um, I've seen the part where, like, you know, the uh, the guy with the knife goes into her, into her uh, bathroom while she's showering and she's screaming, and the that sound effects goes like then, 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 or whatever it's called. Free, free, free. Yeah, yes. and that, that's pretty much the only <laughs> clip I've ever seen of it. I'm still traumatized by the shower scene. <laughs> Even all these years later, because it's like, do I lock my bathroom door? <laughs> it's like... Oh my god, paranoia sinks in. <laughs> well, you never know. It's like, no, I got I'm a good. question for you, Mr. Nightmare. Haunted. Haunted. I don't know why the hell I keep saying nightmare. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm looking at i'm looking at like seven different things right now so like i'm seeing nightmare this and then it but mr haunted i've got a question for you what's up if you could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with any serial killer past or present who would you sit down with and what would be your first question to them um does freddy krueger go Fiction. We could go with fictional, sure. All right. Oh, like oh, just like oh, wait, you meant like real serial killers or just yeah, fiction? yeah. Like, it's just, I was say, I was just saying serial killers. Anybody who's ever killed anybody in hub in a habitual manner. <laughs> oh, okay. No, all right then. Um, if I actually do, let's let's actually go with real life then. Uh, it would probably be the Zodiac killer. Nice. Um, oh, yes. Nice. I would. The first question, if I ever had the chance to meet him. The first question I would be, I would ask is, how in the hell he got away with so many murders and how nobody can find him or track him down? Or like exactly. how, how, he just, how he just managed yeah. to get away with it all, you know? Right. Exactly. That's almost like question he, he was a part of the force. <laughs> right. With evidence and everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, that uh, would be Derek, the number one question. You know, <laughs> I must be weird because I've always been fascinated by serial killers and, you know, um, why? You know, and like you said, how did you get away with it? There was um, a story one time I heard, I forgot who narrated it. And then Derringer has a question for you. Chrono, it's in Grave Matters chat. Um, I get it. There was this couple, they went up, you know, hiking at night and they bumped into something on the trail. And the husband said, well, I think, you know, we need to leave. Come to find out um, X amount of time later that what they bumped into was one of the Zodiac killer's victims that he had just killed, just killed when they came walking wow. up. Oh wow! I Can think um, oh, was it about a Provo Canyon or something like that? And the couple were on a date or something. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, that was actually Ted Bundy. Um, that that's actually oh, a that story. was Ted Bundy. Okay. Yeah, that was Ted Bundy. Um, okay. It's actually a story on Reddit. Um, yeah, but wow. it's pretty, pretty interesting. But still, can you just imagine whether it be you're st stumbling on the crime scene of Ted Bundy or the Zodiac Killer and you know, to come to find out, you know, oh, dear God, how close that you came. You know, say he didn't just get done killing that victim. How close that you or both of you, you know, would have been his possibly his next next victim. Yeah, you exactly. Know? I would not. I mean, honestly, coming across like a, a murder victim's, you know, body. You know, I don't know what I don't know what I would do. I I probably just run. Uh, if I had a gun and I saw him, I I and he, you know, obviously, you know, if he attacked me, I'd shoot him. But that's for self defense, obviously. But other than that, realistically, I would I'd probably just honestly run. If I if I knew there was actually a a, a serial killer near, nearby, and I'd run, and call the police. That's a fair answer. Very yes, fair yeah. answer, because that's what I do too. It's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, Derringer so, has a. Go ahead, yep. Chrono. Derringer had asked this question. Sorry to cut you off, CCG. I know you. You're fine. In the middle of reading it, uh, the world is ending from a zombie apocalypse. What weapon do you use, and do you go somewhere new or stay stay where you are? Um. Let's see. So, I, what weapon do I use? I'd probably use a gun, uh, like a rapid-fire gun with a silencer on it. So when I shoot, you know, they won't make as much noise. Um, and I'd probably stay in the same place. Um, and uh, until, like, you know, it, yeah, until, like, it's no longer capable of living there. Kind of like if you've seen The Walking, if you played The Walking Dead video game in Season 1, you know, they're at that motor inn or whatever, and... They eventually, you know, eventually it comes on down and, you know, it's no longer habitable and you they move on to another place. So that's what I would do, basically. Um, you know, I'd 
stayed maybe in my house and I'd go, if I run out of food, you know, I'll bring my weapons with me and I'd go try to get food and then bring it back. That's probably what I do. And I definitely uh, armor up. I, I'd put some like, you know, because one thing they don't do in like zombie movies is they don't armor up. They don't put anything over their arms. They don't like put these special suits on, you know, and that's why they get bit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's so, what I would do. Good idea. I'd probably do the same thing. Keep, keep myself hidden. Hello, Boggs. Um, so we're in a zombie apocalypse, and let's just say for some reason your suit fell and you were bit, and you knew you were going to change. Um, would you um, take yourself out before you changed, or would you just let it happen? Oh, um, I'd probably would you want to be a zombie? I, I, I no, I would not. I would probably take myself out before anything happened. Same here. Nope. I the idea of going around eating humans just does not appeal to me. Neither um, does no. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ugh, gross. <clears throat> so, um, what uh, what do you have coming up on your channel? that everybody can look forward to uh so i actually have a new video coming out tonight as a matter of fact i'm hoping to release it around 10 um but yeah there will be a new video tonight uh roommate horror stories Ooh. oh yes uh and i have one last story to narrate before i put it up and it's gonna be a good one i i, I think i really found some good stories on um reddit ask permission obviously and I think it's going to be good. I've never actually really done roommate horror stories, so it's going to be a new um, it's going to be a new topic tonight. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's one of be... my fa Sorry, go ahead, Mister Hunted. No, I was just gonna. I was saying it's, it was going to be it's going to be fun. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, if you want to share the link in Grave Matters chat, we'll share it here um, in chat. My favorite, um, I like the park ranger stories or um, Lost in the Woods. Those are one of my favorites. Two of my favorites, excuse me. I'll learn how to talk here sooner or later. <laughs> God. So are there any more questions in chat for Mr. Haunted? Hey. I don't see I'm not anymore. seeing any seeing any i'm sure one will come maybe yes yeah I'm, yeah i'm sure more will come yes i've, <laughs> got, a sound like a whole... I've got a question uh, of course What's if up? if time travel was a thing in today's sense what period of time would you travel back to and why and you can't travel into the future you could travel into the future uh, i'd probably travel to the year 3000 I really like ever since my childhood I just wanted to know what what the world would look like in that year like I don't know if it would be destroyed I don't know if it will be some sort of futuristic city or something like that but I just genuinely really want to see what the world would look like in that time as long as you got enough gas to get back oh yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. So, Mr. Haunted, um, I know that a lot of narrators have narrated stories about um, this topic, but have you ever experienced anything paranormal or sleep paralysis? Um, paranormal or sleep paralysis? I have not, actually, surprisingly. I mean, by now you would think that I would have, I would have encountered something. Um, but as of right now, no. Oh. I have not actually. Um, forty two asks, "What is your favorite fish?" <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so I <laughs> genuinely, genuinely, do not like fish. 
I know. I'm not too much of a seafood person. Um, unless it's fried with maybe some rice and lime, that would be kind of good. Uh, I'll go for that. Um, the only seafood I'm really, you know, that I really like is fried calamari, and that's Ooh. like, oh, yeah, I yeah. really love fried calamari. Oh yeah. Oh, I do too. I love fried calamari. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's just now so I'm hungry, good. man. I know, yeah. right? I'm sitting here thinking of cold chicken strips, but I don't want to go make noise. So, uh. <laughs> so Caitlin's got a question. She asks, "Do you know what Corpse Husband's name is, or what he looks like?" Um. So I do know his name. I don't really know what he looks like. I can't reveal. I can't reveal what his name is. Due to like, no, you know, we would not ask legal, you to. Yeah, legal reasons. Yeah, that's fair. But I do know that's his fair. name. Um, and what he looks like. Um, I've seen, you know, like, I, I have a pretty good imagination of as to what things look like. Or as to what people look like. Um, and, you know, if I put it all together, I could picture, I could picture this person in my mind that's obviously relatively close to what he might actually look like. But no, I don't know. I've never seen a picture of him. I do know his name, but I cannot reveal that. And that's completely understandable, and we would not ask you to, um, out of respect. Well, his name's Corpse Husband. Yeah, his name's Corpse Husband. <laughs> you know, I, I think you meant his real name, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But is... Yeah, it's Corpse. See? Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. As the Raven Dreams asks, what is your spirit animal? My spirit animal? Yeah. Huh. Spirit animal. I... I don't know, actually. <laughs> um... <laughs> let me see. I'm gonna look up some spirit animals. Uh... Let's see which one I like, I guess. <laughs> spin the roulette wheel <laughs> uh, for, basically, say... for basically like you know what month I was born in mm -hmm. um, so I'm a Leo so it would be a salmon it, it'll be salmon <laughs> for a man who doesn't <laughs> like fish yep. oh my god this is great <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was born. I was born in August, so when salmon is from July to August, so, so I guess I'm a salmon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find out what June is. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, apparently, <laughs> that maybe that's funny. why you don't like fish. Fish. Yeah, you never know. Anything could happen. It's like, hey, man, don't eat us. <laughs> 42. Maybe. 42 is putting fish in the soup chat. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. I'm going to have to find out what June is. Uh, it looks like 42 has another question for you. If awesome. a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much would a woodchuck make in this economy? 25 cents that sounds pretty fair i don't i have i, I have no clue <laughs> 25 I have, cents <laughs> how much like it's kind of like a how much wood could work to chuck it wood to chuck i can't even say it right i don't know <laughs> i could try to say that very fast there's no way <laughs> I guess we're posting fish now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you could sit down and have dinner with anyone, who would it be? With anyone. Um, mm. Shoot. Um, there's a lot of people I want to sit down and have dinner with. My friends, uh, family too. But like, it, it would have to be like, does that have to be one person, or are you going to be, like, multiple people? It could be uh, multiple people. Like, if you could sit down and have dinner with Corpse Husband, what would you talk about, and what would your first question be? 
like if I had a if I had the opportunity to sit down with corpse husband for dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, hypothetically, I there's not really much I'd ask him to be honest. I mean, we're not we're not, we weren't as active like talking to each other as we are as we were before. Um, mm-hmm. I know a lot of things, you know, that he's told us, you know, before he got big. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, honestly, I feel like it would be really cool to have dinner with a corpse husband. I feel like that'll be pretty dope. But really, you know, I honestly really prefer anyone to uh, have dinner with as long as they're as long as we were friends or something, you know. Awesome. I'd say as long as it's dinner. As long as it's dinner. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> I'll be and it doesn't on the food. <laughs> doesn't require fish <laughs> except fried calamari. <laughs> That'll be even so, better. Exactly. <laughs> Chrono or chat, do any of you have any more questions? If you do, mm. let us know. So, um, a question to you, Mr. Haunted. Do you have any questions for us? Um I guess one actually. I'm genuinely curious as to what made you guys want to interview. Uh, interview. I mean, it's a really cool thing, actually. I feel like it's a really, you know, really cool thing. It's if you look that, I feel like it's really beneficial to a lot of people. But what made you guys want to actually, you know, interview narrators and stuff? Okay, for me, I can answer that. Um, going back two years ago, the zombified had came to my uh, to me. Philly and Octus and Evil Outcast and asked us if we wanted to be um, podcast host. Um, Evil Outcast and I did one show and then Philly and uh, Outcast. Um, due to medical reasons, they left. Um, the shows were canceled. Then we came back. Um, but for me personally, back two years ago, um, being a podcast host and interviewing narrators that I only thought that I would only ever hear their voice um, gave me the confidence and um, it's like, wow, I can do this. But for me, um, all of you, you know, I've been a promoter and supporter of all of you since uh, 2017. And getting the chance to interview you uh, is to me another platform that um, helps get you guys recognized because I feel that a lot of you deserve it and it's just a great way to also get to kind of know you and everything and it's my way of saying thank you to all of you for all that you do in your videos and for your channels for us of course so. um I guess for me, I'm kind of a guest host here, but after, I guess, the first interview I was a part of, or podcast I was a part of with Grave Matters, being the guest of the matter, I kind of got more interested with talking with people and meeting people. Like Because before this, Mr. Haunted, I don't think we've ever spoken. And Yeah, I mean, I've, just... I've, I've heard of you before. I don't think we have, but I don't think we've actually ever spoken before. Exactly. So I think that's my favorite part about this being a part of it Mine now. Too. Not nec- Yeah, I love I love meeting new people always. If you get me outside of a formal event or any kind, I will chat your ear off and I'll probably be the most <laughs> annoying person you've ever met. Oh, I've been God. known to be I've been known to be pretty heavy-winded. <laughs> no, dude, but you what? seem super cool, man. He someone is. He's likes amazing. me. <laughs> someone <laughs> likes me. Yeah, I do. What? <laughs> well, if somebody would have told me, you know, in 2017, because I um, was a promoter and supporter of musicians in 2016, and then went over to the horror community. But if somebody would have told me two, three years ago that I would be interviewing like you, Mr. Haunted, Goodnight Goosebumps, uh, Mr. Creepy Pasta Swamp Dweller, any of you, I would have told you you're full of shit. To oh be honest, <laughs> I would have told. Because <laughs> um, you know, I was just promoting and um, 
Matt Chatter asked me if I wanted to be a part of his collab, and then the rest is history. But I never thought I would have this opportunity, and I'm thankful every day to have the opportunities that I have. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank you. And I appreciate you being here. Of course, anytime. If you guys want to definitely interview me, I would def I would definitely be down. How about interrogate? Interrogate? <laughs> oh, I mean, you could do that. <laughs> you could do that. It's not a bad idea, actually. So, everyone, in the future, look for Mr. Haunted to come back. And Philia Noctis will be doing the interview at that time with us. So, Of course, that'll be awesome. Uh, any final words, uh, Chrono or Mr. Haunted? Um, thank you guys for inviting me. Uh, it's been really fun. And I hope I could come back and uh, answer some more questions for you guys. We'd love to have you back. Chrono? Of course. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting a bunch of messages on the Discord chat right now. <laughs> But I guess final words would have to be, sorry, Raven, I probably won't be able to get to those questions on there. Uh, I think, unless CCG what wants to. What are the to. questions? Go ahead, ask the questions. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know which one they're referring to on here. Um, 42 has been asking some obscure stuff. So, let's see if I could find it. <laughs> All right. If you had a million dollars, what would you buy? And not a green dress, because that'd be cruel. If I had a million, if I had a million dollars, what would I buy? Uh, if I had a million dollars, I'd probably buy. I'd probably buy my dream car. Um, which is, um, I mean, I don't know. If, I don't even know if I'll fit in one, but it'll probably be a Lamborghini. Oh, um, sweet. Yeah, yeah. and um, <laughs> the. Other stuff would probably, you know, go, go toward my family and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I will maybe I might donate $100 to a charity. I'm, I'm sorry, $100,000 to charity, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, Amazing. you know, it'll be stuff like that. Awesome answer. That's I really hope I you make do. that million dollars, my guy. <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> Are there any more questions, Chrono? Um, I don't have any final questions. Okay. Well, everyone, <laughs> thank you everyone for coming tonight for all of the awesome questions. It's been great having you. Chrono Pasta, thank you again. Mr. Haunted, it's been a delight having you. Thank you for the Absolutely. awesome interview. Anytime. Thank you. Uh, thank you to As the Raven Dreams for again hosting. <laughs> grave matters and to patients as well and remember everyone we will see you back here at 7 p.m pst as we interview good night goosebumps so until then remember stay frightened and the graves always whisper Take care. awesome thank you everyone